Okay, so thank you for joining us for ALD's newest series open to all members called ALD Conversations. Uh, last year, we updated our tagline uh, to say, taking you from first year to career. So this series looks to do just that. Uh, we hope to explore the path where you now are as a student and where you wanna be in your career. Uh, so we're very grateful to our alumni uh, and particularly for today, for tonight, Avro Pandey, uh, who has agreed to spend some time sharing their journey. And we're thrilled to have uh, other members join us uh, for the conversation. So, and we'll start by introducing our facilitators, which is uh, me. <laughs> My name is Eileen Merberg. I am the executive director of Alpha Lambda Delta. Uh, and I'll have um, Avro introduce himself and then I'm going to ask you some questions. Great, sounds good. Uh, well, I'm happy to be here. And I think it's a great program. Um, my name is Aubriel. I was in ALD since 2017 and I majored in finance, but now I work in accounting. So, uh, and I live in Boston, but now I'm everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> good, okay, very good. Um, okay, so we like to start these out with a couple of fun questions before we get into, uh, oh, let me let someone in, um, before, we get into uh, the career and finance uh, or a career and uh, uh, yeah, and uh, major questions. Uh, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, there are these thing called momos. It's like Nepali dumplings. Uh, and those are like my favorite food of all time. And it, it's, it's just, it's just dumplings, but it's made with like okay. spices and it's really good. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you won an all expenses paid seven day vacation and let's pretend that COVID magically disappeared, where would you go? Uh, probably Geneva, Switzerland, because my dad used to go there a lot when I was younger. And then I just like love seeing the photos. I always wanted to see the mountains and everything. Right. Looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Last question, what did you want to be when you were younger? <laughs> I wanted to be a scientist, but uh, as middle school and high school went on, I hated science, so. Ah, oh, that really. <laughs> yeah. Good, okay. So you went in a different direction and it's worked out well for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's uh, start the conversation. Um, let me uh, ask, um, what role did Alpha Lambda Delta play in your undergraduate experience? And in particular, um, for especially <clears throat> for our current members right now who are uh, participating tonight or watching, you know, were you involved? Uh, what sort of inspired you to even join Alpha Lambda Delta? And what did you sort of get out of it? How did it impact your experience? Um, well, I think it was like a gradual participation with Alpha and Delta. I don't think I was very involved in the beginning, um, but the more I got involved, I think I got more value out of it. Um, so I started applying for uh, positions in my school and then in the National Council. So I was the treasurer and then, uh, and then I applied to be on the board of the National Council. Um, I think the biggest thing that you get out of is meeting new people and networking. And even if they're not in your field, you just meet like all sort of, sort of people. Um, and I'm still friends with people that I met through the leadership conferences. Oh, that's great. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, especially that conference, if, if students who are in leadership positions can go to our conference in the fall, which was online this past October, of course, but oh, yeah. hopefully, uh, you know, where we are next year is in Washington, D.C., uh, oh, cool. technically okay. Virginia, uh, uh, nice. in Crystal City, Arlington area. Okay. Um, we'll be there next year in October, so we'll have to have you come mm -hmm. and get yeah. a workshop <laughs> if you're yeah. there, <laughs> yeah. if you're around. Uh, okay, so again, our tagline, taking you from first year to career, can you talk about your path uh, from your first year of college to your first year in your job? So not, not so much Alpha Lambda Delta related, but um, I think what would be of interest to students who have that, the similar majors, what about internships, research projects? Um, how did, you know, did you think about graduate school? What, what was your path? from your freshman year to your first job? Um, so when I 
in freshman year, I really didn't know what I wanted to do um, at all. Like I had no idea what my major was. I applied as undecided. And I, I think I chose finance through like process of elimination, like what I didn't want to do. And I knew I didn't want to do science or engineering. Um, I didn't want to do marketing. So like it, like out of all the elimination, I came down to finance. Um, and then my internships were very, I guess, kind of different. Um, one of them was accounting and then one of them was corporate finance. Um, so I would say like not to get stuck on one field and try to get internships in like similar fields. Even if you're a finance major, I would suggest uh, going into accounting internships because that's what I did. And I ended up working as an accountant now. Well, I'm working as an accountant. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest thing that helped me find these internships were like in school networking events because you really establish relationships with them. And I think that helps a lot instead of just applying um, like online. And if you talk to like the HR reps or any people that come into your school, uh, that helps a lot. Right, right. And it seems like, I don't know if this was the case at George Mason where you went, but um, your career development centers are gonna be key. They're, oh, they're yeah, always sure. planning programs. So for, yep. for those of you listening, uh, you know, stay connected to your career centers because they're setting up internships, they're bringing in right. employers, uh, they're doing job fairs, you know, right. that's a good way to, even online, I think they're pivoting and doing interesting things through Zoom if students can't yeah. gather. Yeah, good. Okay, um, in your field, is, is there graduate school or professional certificate programs or any professional development that you've participated in? Anything you'd suggest there um, um, that you'd recommend? So I have not yet done any of those um, since I just graduated in December. Yeah. Um, but, and my field kind of changed a lot. So I majored in finance, but I did a, an accounting internship in my senior year. And then I liked the accounting more, so I joined an accounting firm. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I would have to get a CP, like a CPA license, or if I want to go back into finance, I would have to do CFA or CFP certified, like uh, CFA financial planning. <laughs> and yeah. then I would say if you're thinking about accounting at all, I would get the 150 credits because you need you need 150 credit to get the license. You can sit in for the test for the CPA, but you need the 150 for a license. Okay. Um, so now I'm thinking about getting my master's in tax so that I can get that extra 30 credits so I can get my license. Master's in tax? Do you say yeah. Tax yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Good. So. Um, say a little bit more about what you do now, because I didn't really, so what's the company and what do you do and what, what does a typical day look like for you? Okay, so I work in tax. I work for Anderson. Um, we don't do audit or anything. It's basically tax compliance. And I work for partnership or flow through entities or uh, corporations. So my typical year would be, we are really busy, like, four months out of the 12 and then the rest of the year is just planning and consulting uh, but that four months is you work crazy hours you work nine to nine um, and clients will send you like updated information like literally like the day before the deadline so you wow <laughs> you, you have to be prepared to work until like midnight um, so but then after the busy season it's very lax which I which I like the balance so and day to day, it's basically in, uh, seeing the financial statements that the clients send uh, and then putting it into a, our Excel. Uh, we prepare our like income statement, balance sheet, all that. And then we fill out the tax forms that needs to be filed. And basically, you just tie it with the software. Uh, so that's like the day to day. And um what uh what are those four months so i work tax so if it's individual the deadlines are like uh october 15th and then april 15th oh, okay 
uh, but I work in partnerships. So, 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 for, so for me, it's uh, September 15th and March 15th. Okay. Yeah. I just wonder what the busy. Like. So basically, <laughs> yeah, basically two months before that deadline. It's right, just crazy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds it. Okay. Um, so again, st current Alpha Lambda Delta students, undergraduate students with presumably a, a, a major in finance or accounting um, are watching. What advice do you have for students if they're pursuing a career in, in the field you're in? Uh, what advice would you give? Um, I would say definitely have like close relationship with the professors because uh, they have they, they know a lot of opportunities or know uh, other professionals in the field that they can refer to also um, like for me personally like the career career center in my school was like a huge help uh, with the events uh, I would attend pretty much any I could find just to practice uh, and they had a bunch of mock-up trials like interview and for all of those there are employers or recruiters. So I would definitely definitely take advantage of that if your school has that. And anything you wish you had done that you didn't do? Uh, yeah, any experience you wish you had uh, that would have, maybe would have better positioned you or? Yeah, I think I would, I would have been uh, like more open to locations wise. I was very constricted with where I wanted to go. Okay. Um, so maybe not have that. Um, also, I, I, I don't know, I think practicing more, I, I wish I had practiced more, like even though I said I attended all these before my interview, I was always rushing, procrastinating, so. Okay, yeah. It's like never enough. <laughs> right. Do you have a favorite thing about what you do? Your favorite? Uh, well, it used, to be, it used to be busy season meals, because since we used to work so late, we would all have dinners together in the office. Oh, mm -hmm. um, but now yep. it's a, it's all virtual. So yep. right, right. Yeah, yeah. My I have a niece who worked on and on Wall Street. I think for a for a one year internship, and she loved those meals they would have yeah. together because they work so late. Right, right. Like, yeah. yeah, I think accounting is more fun just because of the people. But now it's there's no people. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. So what would you say the industry has done to pivot during COVID? Like what, other than remote work, is there anything else, any other ways that the pandemic has impacted your industry? Um, no, I, I think I think a lot of uh, people were afraid about working virtually, but I don't think it impacted negatively for our industry because you, you are able to do pretty much anything you do in the office. It's all... Mm -hmm. It's more about the culture and uh, like employees getting together, but right. and like work wise, I don't think it affects negatively. Right, because you're on the computer and right. like phone calls and Zoom anyway because yeah. you're a national uh, company. Yeah, I think this is the last question I'll ask, and then open it up to folks. And then if there's anything else you um, think would be helpful to uh, share. But uh, any sort of, in this field, are men do mentors play a role? I mean, you mentioned making sure you knew your faculty and which mm -hmm. I think is great advice. And I think no matter what the major is, you should, especially as you become juniors and seniors, you know, you mm -hmm. wanna know, your, you know, be close to your faculty and have them expose you to careers mm -hmm. uh, and may, help you make connections. But any mentors you had and how you found, if you had one, how did you find them? Mm -hmm. Um, so I guess that, that would be the answer that I would have answered before what I had done differently. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I wish I did have a mentor. I, I don't think I had, I didn't really pursue like mentorship at all, yeah. um, which I think I should have done. And I, I mean, there were definitely people in my career center that helped me guide, find these internships and all these great programs, but, um, mm -hmm. I never had that professional mentorship or like program. Right. I mean, it's not every university or academic department has yeah. that available, but if yours, if you're watching and, and your department yeah. does, then take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. And to, I guess to find mentors, um, LinkedIn is super helpful in finding people from your school, especially. Uh, when I was doing a job search, I used to 
filter it by my school and then where I wanted to work just so I could spark up a conversation or even ALD. Like if you put yeah. in ALD in a place that you want to work, um, it's really easy to start a conversation. Yeah, right. And are you speaking of that? That often has come up at our um, career conversations. Uh, the folks participating want to um, connect with you on LinkedIn if you mm -hmm. are okay with that. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> and I think we're already connected. Okay, so at this point, I wanna open it up to our participants. If, uh, does anyone have any questions? And so you could either unmute yourself, turn your camera on if you want, you could type questions in chat. Uh, what are your thoughts um, and questions for Avro while you're here, while you have them live in person? Uh, what questions might you have about the field? Um, and your majors and career prospects. Anybody have a question? In your opinion, how can members use Alpha Lambda Delta to get ahead in their career? Like, is there any, we're gonna swing back to Alpha Lambda Delta. Okay. You were pretty involved in your chapter. Anything you wanna say about sort of what advice you might give to others? Um, well, I think if, if you are able to run for uh, office in your local chapter and the national board i would highly recommend it i think well it obviously helps applying for the national um what if you are you able to apply if you're not if you're not a Office if you're not in, in in the board, can you? Yeah, uh, yeah. You just you actually can. You don't have to have an officer position to apply for the national okay. council. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I think that those opportunities. Yeah, yeah. Those opportunities for sure. Um, just because you get to do so many things you would normally not do. For example, for example, leading a workshop or something like that. I hate public speaking, but I guess <laughs> it helped me a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So take on a leadership role if you can. And even if it's, you know, if you can't become an officer, you don't have to necessarily be an officer. You can still mm -hmm. be an active member uh, and leader in the organization, even if you don't have a title. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that helps. I want to thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, thanks for your past involvement in Alpha Lambda Delta. You are a great national council member and chapter officer at George Mason. Uh, so thank you so much for taking time uh, during the pandemic <laughs> and uh, out of a busy day and a Thursday night uh, to spend yeah. with Alpha Lambda Delta. Really appreciate it. It was good to see yeah, of you. Of course. Thank you. Yeah, it was good to see you too. Great. Take care, everyone. Thank you for coming.